Welcome everybody to Big Monday presented by eBay. It's the ACC on ESPN. Tonight from Cameron Indoor Stadium in Durham, North Carolina, the NC State Wolfpack has made the 24-mile trip over from Raleigh to take on the 17th-ranked Duke Blue Devils. They've lost to Boston College, Georgia Tech, and Wake Forest. Their only win in the last four against Pittsburgh. NC State went to a 2-3 zone on that last possession. Now Jason Tatum switches off with Emil Jefferson to guard Dennis Smith. There's the talent of Smith on display. Explosive to the bucket for the freshman. The pass ahead. It's a huge difference for Duke in their defense when Emil Jefferson's on the floor. He's just so smart. He's always positioned very well, and he talks and talks his teammates through it. And just about any action you're guarding, if you can't talk it, you can't guard it. Dennis Smith for three. He has five points. Shoots 36% from three-point range. Allen gets a, a lot of acclaim for his driving ability and the reckless abandon with which he plays. But I think the best part of his game is as a shooter. And he catches it with two feet on the floor, man. He does a great job in knocking down shots. Strong drive there by Smith. He was fouled. He'll be at the free throw line after this. Dennis Smith at the free throw line here. Six points now for the freshman. Got that second foul on a needless reach after Maverick Rowan grabbed that rebound. NC State going back to the 2 3 zone. Wow. Smith again. Nine points. No 94 feet with Jay Billis Jinks tonight. Seven in there, and Alika Boo, the lane is a little bit clogged. It's awfully difficult for Dennis Smith to, to drive into the lane. They need to open the, notwithstanding him knocking in a shot. You, know, you give up 44, 45 points and a half on the road. That puts so much pressure on your offense to execute. Your team picked sixth in the preseason ACC poll out of 15. They're in serious trouble with an eye toward making it back toward the NCAA tournament. Dennis Smith, another bucket and a chance for three. Their schedule gets a lot harder yes. coming up. They just had the easy part of their schedule within the conference, and they picked it around. Well, Emil Jefferson, I think, would, if he were healthier, would have either been there to take that charge or go up to try to block that shot. And it looked like this could get away from him. And now all of a sudden, if they have a chance to score, get fouled, or both here, that would be a big change going into halftime. Smith. That's it. Fly. What a half for Dennis Smith. 18 points for the freshman. And every time it looked like Duke was going to open up a couple working margin, NC State to scratch back closer. They run off down by only six. Dennis Smith was sensational in that first half. And Duke had a great opportunity here against a team that's a little bit fragile on the road, but just crosses over, pulls up a great on a great defender in Matt Jones and buries it. And the lead again for the Blue Devils. Under 14 to go. Smith sold the foul. In the lane, in the traffic. I don't know why they have to explain it. They called it. Let's go. Smith calmly makes the free throws. And for a young man that missed, what, the first nine or ten games with an injury, for him to come back, he's at double figures in just about every game. I think every game. And he has been really good all season long. Now advantage situation for NC State. And Smith's going to take advantage all the way to the bucket to tie the game again. Grayson Allen all day. Perhaps too much time. Then a foul call, I believe. It's on Kennard for riding out Dennis Smith Jr. And they're right within striking distance. And they'll be on the road within, they can get now within five points if he knocks these two down. So 
really, Sean, down the stretch, this game's more than about getting scores. It's about getting stops. 22 points for Smith, but 18 of those were in the first half. He's one out of five from the floor in the second half. And now three for six from the free throw line. He was wide open, but I want to see Duke try to drive it a little bit. They're not doing that, but now, just like Allison Williams said, that Mark Godfrey was telling his team, get into the paint. Duke cannot keep. And he also played very well. You mentioned that game that NC State and Duke played in Washington, D.C. last year in the, the ACC tournament. He had 19 and 9 in that one. Giles missed the front of one and one. Wow. Smith gives them the lead. A three with Matt Jones right up on him. First lead for the Wolfpack since they were up 51 50 with 15 22 to go. Three minutes remaining now. Right. Running up two threes. Oh, good. All fair. Allen, a deep three from well beyond the line. A boo. Another rebound in traffic. Eight rebounds for a boo. To go with 19 points. And he went straight up and got that with both hands, didn't he? Same play. Smith to the bucket. And this is the largest lead of the night for the Wolfpack. Again, the Wolfpack trying to win here for the first time since 1995. 16 straight losses in the building. And the layup missed by Tatum. The rebound by Smith. And he'll go to the other end to shoot two at 23 and a half to go. Has struggled to stop people mm -hmm. in the second half. When they were down after giving up 44 points in that first half, have come out and done a really good job on both ends of the floor in the second half. They've played four true road games this season. Lost by 14 in Illinois, by 18 in Miami. And he makes it. The age old question, he didn't make it, so it doesn't matter. You foul before he can shoot a three. Down by two. Lost on the dribble. Tatum turned it over. The exclamation point by Smith will not count. But that doesn't matter. NC State wins in Cameron for the first time since 1995.